everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's going to be a very positive and happy video because I am going to share with you what I take when I go on a flight. The reason why this is super exciting is because I am going on a flight in two weeks time. Less than two weeks actually. This day in two weeks time I will be on holiday. To celebrate I am wearing my positive vibes top. Whoop, 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 whoop. And I keep religiously spraying the Estee Lauder bronze goddess all over me because it smells like holiday, soon I'm gonna be on holiday. Things are good, people, things are good. Celebrate the fact that I will be jetting off oh so soon. I thought I'd take you through my makeup essentials, skincare essentials for when I'm on a plane. Now I've done quite a few of these posts. Although the majority of the products remains the same, sometimes the brand are different, sometimes the bag's different, and also I find these really useful to look back on. So when I'm planning a holiday or I've got a trip away and I'm just staring at everything going, what do I need? What do I use? What's important? What on earth do I need to take with me? I can just go online, read back in time, everything I used to take on holiday and be like, oh yes, I need that cleanser. That's the travel moisturiser I take with me. Now I remember. So not only do I find these useful for myself, hopefully you guys will find these useful if you've got any summer holidays upcoming, any trips away, or if you've got a long haul flight in the diary, because that's when I find I really need to be careful and take good skincare items on board, because otherwise I will arrive on holiday, sun beating down on me, all excited to enjoy my vacation, and then my skin is like, uh uh, no sorry, you did not look after me on the plane, you want nice skin on holiday? Think again Missy because I am going to give you breakouts, dryness, dehydration, everything you don't want to have to deal with. So I make sure those eight hours or so that I'm on a plane I am looking after my skin. Everyone around me might be like wondering what I'm doing, who's that lady in the corner that keeps spritzing things on her face? What is she up to with all her creams and potions? And I'm like, you can look, you can judge, you wait until you get off this plane and your skin's going ah and my skin's going we're on holiday we're feeling good let's get this party started so i'm going to run you through my bag of essentials and it's quite exciting because it features a rather luxurious item i'm excited to show this is that lame that i'm excited to show a bag the reason why i'm so excited to show you this bag because i mean it is only a bag and when i think about the price tag that i paid for this thinking that it's only a bag Makes me feel a little bit sick inside, but it's worth it. It's been on my wish list for a very, very long time. A new role at work meant that I was going to splurge all the money in the world that I didn't have, and I ended up buying this. Da, 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 da. Oh yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Anya High March. Oh gosh, I really should know the name of it, shouldn't I? Travel, essentials, makeup bag thing. This is part of their monochrome or their name collection. Basically they have loads of little bags that have like a little name on it like makeup essentials or beauty bag or in this case because it's for a flight you've got a little side that says take off and then flip it around the other side and you've got one that says touchdown. I know. Kind of gimmicky but still made me splash all the cash to buy it. It's filled with my beauty essentials and now I'm going to take you guys through it. So I'm going to start with the takeoff section Ooh. and just zip it on open. What's good about these is even though you've got kind of like the leather black around the outside it's clear in the middle and it means that you can put it through security so you don't have to take all your stuff out and then put it through. You can just pop this bag into the little security tray and be like bye makeup See you on the other side. I hope the security man doesn't think I'm mental for everything I'm bringing with me. Which is what I usually wonder. I swear everyone looks at me going, why does this woman need so much stuff? And it's, it's important. It's because you've got to look after your skin, guys. Unzipped it, flaps open. This one's the deeper side, if you can see. You get a lot more room. And then this, this other side is just a little bit more tiny, but you don't need as much stuff. So this is where the bulk of everything lives. And I'm just going to take everything out and show you. So the first thing that you probably would have seen is this little pouch. And this is the Skin Iceland Hydro Cooling Firming Eye Gels. These are incredible. I actually saw them on Miss Glamorazzi's Ingrid's um, YouTube channel. And she talks about these a lot. And I was like, I suffer from bags. I suffer from dehydrated skin around my eyes. Ew. And I had no idea that you could get just a little, it's like a little, it sits here on either side, just tiny, and then 
it's like packed full of cooling hydration and it stops my eyes from being so puffy and so red and they're just awesome. So I picked them up, um, in a pack you get a sachet, well you get eight sachets, in each sachet you get two, so one for each eye obviously, and I've just put one in my travel handbag and then I've got a couple in my um, luggage bag as well that I've checked in for whenever I'm really tired on holiday and my eyes need perking. I've got a couple of just cotton wool pads, overall ones from Superdrug, nothing special here. Uh, the reason why I packed those is because I will never travel without my Cordly Beauty Elixir. I adore this stuff. I've been through countless bottles, I've tried other sprays, nothing compares. The scent, the way it calms down my skin, just everything, I just find it perfect. It's great on flights because if anything smells a little bit weird, you can just spritz them on. Pretend you're spritzing your face when actually you're trying to mask the stinky person around you. And it just helps to kind of neutralise any bad smells, but also it refreshes my skin. And I find this really helps with any irritations or um, areas of like inflammation or if any spots are trying to break through. As soon as I spritz this on, it's like, haha, I'm going away. I will not come and ruin your day. This will knock it back into place and I just adore it and I always have one when I go on holiday. I've got my Origins Fighter Zing. When I'm going on long haul flights, I usually arrive at the airport with no makeup on my face. In the past, sometimes I've put just like minimal makeup on, but I find that it's more hassle just having to take it off when I get on the flight and it just aggravates my skin a bit and there's just no need. So instead now what I do is I arrive clean faced and then it means that when I am ready to land in the other side of the world, I can put a little bit of makeup on. So I take this, A, because it's fantastic on holiday, because it's a great moisturiser with that little tint of colour. So when you've not quite tanned yet, but you want to look as tanned as everyone else around the pool, this gives you that little bit of colour. And it's also great when after a long haul flight, because then it gives that little bit of colour and life back to your skin. When it's looking a bit kind of dull and tired, this just kind of gives it that little bit life colour back again which is perfect. I've got a little mini toothpaste to refresh my breath on the flight because I mean you're sitting there for like what eight hours this might be a 10 hour flight oh I dread to think so toothpaste is essential and then whenever I'm at the airport I just go to Boots and pick up a little tiny toothbrush and then I usually just use it for that holiday and then chuck it. Got a mini wet brush um, I adore wet brushes they are brilliant for I've got fine hair but I've got a lot of hair and I find some brushes are too harsh and just like rip all my hair out and I'm like no, don't make me bald. So these are great because they're really kind to your hair when you um, brush it through when it's wet. And this is just a little purple mini version. I was going to just put it in my check-in luggage but actually it's quite useful just to kind of comb your hair through when you kind of have been sitting there all day. And usually because I'm like snuggling into the seat and getting my hair all like zhuzhed up it's useful just to calm it back down and be like... No, I've not been sat in a seat for eight hours, it's fine. I look human-ish. I've got a little mini hand gel. Hand gel? No, this is a hand cream. I should pack a hand gel, actually. I don't have one in here. I might pick one up when I'm at the airport. But this is just the Nukes Rev de Mille hand and nail cream. Nothing fancy. Um, I just like it because it's tiny. I've got a little pot of my Origins uh, Drink Up Intensive. Got to sniff it because it smells incredible. And this is a flight essential. Whether it's a long haul flight, a short haul flight, whenever I travel, I always have a little pot of this. This is fantastic. Every couple of hours, I just slather loads of this on my face and it just keeps it hydrated and moisturized and removes any tight feeling that you get in your face. And also, again, smells incredible. I've got my Body Shop Aloe Vera Lip Care, just a little lip balm. This is perfect because it's not a pot, so you don't have to dip your finger in and get all dirty and things like this. This is, um, Obviously you can just apply it, nice and simple, um, really hydrating and moisturising and not too sticky but not too thick. Um, I don't want any of those kind of like, um, oh, like the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, those are fantastic but on a flight you don't want anything too heavy because if you're drinking lots of water and things like that it just gets annoying and con congealing. Bleh. So something a bit lighter, more gel like, it's perfect. I've got some face wipes. Usually I don't use face wipes, the only time you'll ever see me with some is on a flight. Um, in the past I've used the Ole Hendrickson ones, but I've still got the packet, but they've all dried out because I've used them on like three or four holidays now, so they're getting a little bit old. So I picked up some new ones and I've always wanted to try something from the Yester Carrots range. These are the Yester Carrots Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes in um, 
obviously the cucumber scent. So I was hoping these would be nice and refreshing and even though I won't be wearing makeup when I go on the plane, it's useful just to kind of wipe away any grime. But also, if I'm going to put some makeup on before I get off the plane, it's nice just to use one of these just to cleanse your face, keep everything feeling nice and clean before popping on some makeup. I've got an Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. I find this really, really vital because if you're on an overnight flight or if you're going through time zones, usually you're missing sleep. Even though you can get a little bit of sleep on a plane, it's nothing compared to what you usually get. So those eye bags come out to play and this is really brightening and really pigmented. So I find just a little bit popped on really helps to awaken the area and stops it looking like I've been sat there for eight hours going, must watch all the movies, which is usually what I do. I've got my Stella McCartney Rollerball, always vital to have a perfume, keep any stinkiness at bay. I've got a little Deep Sleep Stress Less from This Works. Um, I got this as part of the pillow spray set and this is just great if you ever get a little bit nervous or worried or anxious on a flight. This contains a mixture of um, lavender and I'm not sure what else but I just find it really soothing and you can kind of apply it on your temples and things like that just to help relax you down and stop you realising that you're up in the sky. And then the last thing is a little mini Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Overnight Facial. I find it really useful having an oil on the plane because sometimes I just want something a little bit more hydrating and an oil just is exactly what my skin needs. Even though I've got kind of the masks and the sprays and things like that, it's useful just to have an oil just if your skin is feeling overly tight. This knocks it back into shape and also this will be my night oil when I'm on holiday so it means I don't have to pack anything else. And this side is empty! The takeoff section is complete. Here is the touchdown section. It comes with a little elasticated band here. Obviously, as they're assuming, you're going to be putting makeup on this side. So it holds any um, brushes or large pieces of uh, makeup in place. Stops it from rolling around too much. So on this side, I've got my Dior New Skin BB Cream. This is a must-have product. I love it. It will be my base when I'm on holiday. And this just gives a really lightweight finish to my skin and just looks really natural and gives that little bit of coverage but a lot of radiation and glow to keep my skin looking lovely. Two concealers. Always got to have two concealers. I've got my NARS Creamy Radiant Creamy Concealer and my Maybelline Dream Touch Lumi. One for under my eyes and one for any blemishes or redness. To buff that all in, I've just got my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Only one brush here, nothing else too fancy. I'll just either use my fingers to blend this in or buff it in with this. Powder it down, I've got my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder in 52 Vanille. Usually I travel with my Chanel Les Beige Powder, but I've been really liking this. I like the fact that it's so much more smaller and more compact, and you still get a nice big mirror in there, so this will now be my new travelling best friend. To pop a tiny bit of colour on my cheeks as well, I've got the NARS little mini blusher. This one is in deep throat and this just gives that little bit of colour and life back to my cheeks. I don't have anything to kind of contour or anything else. I just find that just putting a little bit of coverage on and a little something on my cheeks just helps to kind of awaken my face without having to go in with a contour and a bronzer and all that because ain't nobody got time for that on a flight. For my eyes I've got three little essentials. Um, a shadow to put over my lid. This is just the Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow paint in 06 rich russet i have a horrible feeling they discontinued this because i tried to find it online and i couldn't and it was sad because this is incredible it's just a little doe foot applicator you can just wipe it across your lid blend it in with your finger and it just gives a really lightweight wash of color that doesn't smudge and just stays there then to get my lashes looking big and luscious here is a mini benefit bad girl lash I used to wear this loads when I was a lot younger, but I don't really as much anymore. But I find this is perfect on a flight because it's got a super big, look at that, look at that mascara wand, look how huge it is. And this just means that it makes my lashes go pow. Considering I haven't got much other makeup on and I'm looking a little bit tired, anything that helps my lashes look bigger and more voluminous is a win in my books. So I love to pop this on after a flight. And then finally for my brows, I've got the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I find this can be a little bit kind of OTT and thick so what I do is I just kind of like take off the excess and then just run it through my brows. What I might actually do is pack a spoolie as well just to brush it through afterwards and again because I'm not wearing a lot of makeup it's useful just to have a little bit of definition in my brows but not having to go in with a pencil and powder and all that stuff. 
So this just gives me a little bit of colour and definition super quickly, which yes, I think I'm going to pack a spoolie just to take away the excess so it doesn't look like BOOM browns, because nobody wants that. Too much brown. And then the final item is this little Clarin Instant Light Lip Balm Perfector. A little bit of colour, lots of moisturisation, you don't have to worry about it smudging or going everywhere, and it just means that your lips are nice and hydrated with that little bit of colour. Perfection. And that's it! She is empty! She's so pretty. pretty. And that's it! That's everything I pack with me on my flight makeup essentials. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. If there's anything else that you take that's an absolute essential, let me know because I'm always interested on what other bits I can take and what other things I can kind of put in and little minis that I can carry around just to keep my skin in check and nice and happy throughout a long flight. Next week I will be bringing you what I pack in the rest of my beauty essentials, so everything that goes into my luggage and gets checked onto the plane, so all my skincare and hair care and the rest of my makeup goodies. Stay tuned for that, really hope you enjoy it. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I will see you guys next week. Bye!